G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy for the final game day squad video of the home and away season. There is one round to go in the competition. Fortunately, my team fell from great heights this week. I was obviously sixth nationally last week, as I like to keep reminding you, but one of our members came third in the country this week, which I believe comes with a cash prize as well. So we're going to get into all that, how the competition's going. We're going to make some changes ahead of the final round of the season. The usual format will be looking at how the league's going, opening the packs I've got this week, and finalizing my our team for an exciting round 23. Let's get into it. If you haven't joined the league yet, make sure you do. It is the top link in the description for this video. This game is honestly so much better than playing fantasy in my opinion. I've completely abandoned my AFL fantasy team because this game is so much more interactive and you can build for the future. So even though it's the last week of the season, you can still make a team and prepare for next season. The players that you unpack and put in your team now, you carry forward into future seasons. So make sure you get stuck in. You'll be doing yourself a favor and you'll also be helping out the channel. Cool. So we'll have a look at who's winning the league and that is still peanut butter. Surprise, surprise, Dostroy is in second and Plaps in third. Those guys have had a wonderful, consistent year. I'm up to eighth. I think that's around about where I was last week. Maybe I've moved up one. I'm not sure, but I'm happy with eighth out of a league of 154. That's our classic competition. If we go into our champion competition, which means there is no salary cap, you can see that Marto's Magicians is well on top and Peanut Butter's in third is really impressive considering he has a salary cap. I'm still 11th in that. That's pretty good. Like I said, this is a mixed bag of teams under the salary cap or on it and those over. If we just look at the table for round 23, we had Draper take out the winning score. That's fantastic with 25-68. Plaps as well. Plaps has had a great year. I didn't realize his team was in the capped competition. I came 13th. That's all right. I had a mixed bag of results. We'll go through that. And if we go to our champion round as well, Mato's Magicians was first. Draper as well came third in that considering he's playing uh, with a salary cap team. That's really impressive. So well done to all the winners this week. So I've got three players to unpack in the final round of the season guys pretty happy with my team so i haven't invested in any cards i'm just going to get the free ones the starter packs the bronze players uh to hopefully improve my squad this week and we'll see how we go so we got one midfielder and two ruck packs to open uh, let's see who we got this is the midfielder now and uh hopefully there's someone that can slot into my best 22 this week i reckon there's a spot up for grabs who we've got Jordan Clark, probably not. Two rucks. Again, this is kind of a formality because I've already got English and Marshall and I don't think I can do any better than that, but let's have a look. First player is Pitney. I've got three of him, so yep, swing and a miss. And finally, Blitzarves. Okay, yeah, so nothing really to add to my 22, but let's get into how my team went this week. Cool, so this is my team, obviously. It's round 23, it says did not play. That's odd, I think that's a bit of a glitch because I got 21.51, which uh, is a couple of hundred points worse than previous week, but that's all right, I'm still happy with that. Anything over 2,000, even 2,100, I'm pretty happy with. So we'll start with the back line. Uh, Dan Houston has been disappointing the last couple of weeks from a fantasy perspective. He got just the 74... Oh no, he got 152 last week, I'm wrong. I think it's disappointing because I had him in for his 54, I dropped him for his 152, and then brought him back in for his 74. So, sucks to be me, I guess. Other than that, all the defenders were outstanding. Sicily was relatively quiet with his 102. Stewart 159 is banging on the door to join my back six there, and I think I will make that change, but we'll keep going through the team before we make those changes. In terms of the midfield, Laird, Took, and Tom Green were fantastic. Clary back into the side, just the 87. That is not... Fantastic, obviously, just the 14 disposals. Did he get injured? I don't believe he did. I think that was just a bad performance, but uh, yeah, unfortunately you get that on the big job sometimes. Merit 103, could have done better, but overall uh, not bad. And finally, English actually outscores Marshall in a game where I had English in the team. That's uh, that's good to see, but both Rucks did well. I wish he could fit both on the field. The forwards were relatively solid, bit of a mixed bag, of course. Taranto could have done better. Goulden, again, around his average, can't argue with that. Horn Francis, uh, I, I backed him in after a fantastic game last week, and then he had a quiet one. So he's still going to be a little bit erratic, I think. Jeremy Cameron, 83. I believe he's not playing in the final game of this year. Rosie was pretty good. And Nick Martin, 42, really hurt. And I need to get Taron Thomas into my team. He's had 128. Let's look at the form on him. Yeah, some, some pretty consistent form. Uh, he's actually become quite a handy player since he's come back into this AFL side. So what changes can we make? Well, if we're starting with the forwards, Jeremy Cameron, Cameron probably needs to come out. Is there anyone in the reserves that I can put in for him? Oscar Allen with 147 is tempting, but because he's gold, I have to uh, factor in that he's going to cost more. Anyone in bronze that is going to do well? Hipwood had a good game. That's pretty damn good, but still probably no. Fisher with 117, he did have a good game. How have his last two games gone? This screen here is just all the uh, all the players that I don't have in my team. I'll probably look at it in this view. Let's find Zach Fisher. 117, so yeah, up and down. Maybe not super 
compelling just because it's been an improved run of form, but I don't know if I want to take the risk. I'm going to get Taron Thomas into my team. It's about time, and Jeremy Cameron's missing anyway. So let's uh, let's make that switcheroo. So that switch is done. Taron Thomas is now into my best six, I guess. Horn Francis. I'm tempted to switch him for Oscar Allen. I get this funny feeling that Oscar Allen is going to see a fair bit of the ball because I think the Eagles are going to play well this week. Is it worth switching uh, Horn Francis? Yes. I, I probably wouldn't switch Nick Martin because he's capable of some big games. Essendon are a tripe right now, but... I'll back Nick Martin to come back into form, and I'm going to put my bronze Oscar Allen on the field because I just got a feeling we're going to see a bag from Oscar Allen. I don't think the Eagles are going to win, but we will see Oscar Allen feature heavily. Cool. I'm happy with that uh, That starting six. So Nick Martin needs a good game, and Zach Fisher is a worthy bench option, I think. Let's look at the midfield. If I can do any... Actually, let's start with my defense because I have an idea. Dan Houston, I'm going to do... Something perhaps a little bit questionable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Dan Houston for Shannon Hearn. Shannon Hearn's final game. Yes, this is probably a poor decision, but I've got them both in platinum and Shannon Hearn is probably going to have a good game, I reckon. Is he going to outscore Dan Houston? Probably not, but I don't care. Shannon Hearn is a legend. Let's get him into the side. Boom, there you go. Shannon Hearn, 124 is a pretty good average. And uh, I feel like he's just going to pull out a classic Shannon Hearn game. 27 disposals, probably not a goal, but that would be nice, wouldn't it? The other one is I need to get Tom Stewart onto my field and I'm going to switch out uh, Hayden Young with a defender that is bronze and that will give me a little bit more salary cap. So let's see how we go. So that's the switcheroos done. Hearn's back into my team. Probably a questionable decision. I've got Stewart replacing Hayden Young. Instead of having Hayden Young on the bench because he costs more uh, more in salary cap because he's silver. No point having a silver player on the bench. I've put in Andrew McGrath. So I probably, hopefully, won't need to use any of them if any of these players don't play. But I think those are good moves. And that gives me some salary cap here, which means that I can upgrade my midfield. I can either upgrade Clayton Oliver to platinum or I can upgrade uh, one of these other bronze players to silver. Let's see if Zach Merritt can be switched for a silver, maybe Rao. Who we got here? Um, these guys aren't silver, they're platinum. Fiorini, uh, okay, so Clayton Oliver is one option there, but I'd switch him for the gold one. So my options are Berry, Rao, uh, Aish, Trelaw, oh God, Trelaw, really, every time I drop him, he has a big game. What is wrong with me? It was against West Coast too. I maybe just switched Trelaw back in for Merritt. Why did I even, oh, because Merritt's a gun too. Do I do it? The Bulldogs need a big win. Is he? Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay, so that basically locks my decision into upgrading Clayton Oliver from gold to platinum. Why not? I have the money and surely he doesn't stay down for too long. It was a bad game, but uh, let's see how we go. And it is against the Swans too. Smaller ground at the SCG, more contested ball for the inside mids. Clayton Oliver to have a big game. Aha, I forgot that uh, I actually won't have enough salary cap for this because the difference between platinum and gold is uh, it's a little bit more in terms of salary cap. What do I do here? See if there's another silver plaque I can upgrade. Let's go back. Do I have a silver forward? Probably not. I probably have one, but whether or not they're good enough to get into my team is another question. Francis, Frederick, Noah Long, McCartan, Ainsworth. Oh, Ainsworth. Oh, Ainsworth. Yeah. Yeah. Dunzo. Okay, so I keep the gold clary this week and I upgrade uh, Ainsworth who in, in silver really probably should have been in my team to begin with. He's having a good year. Let's look at his stats. Uh, certainly the last you know month or so has been pretty solid. The last six weeks, he's uh, only had one quiet game there. So yeah, good option as a forward. I'm very happy with that. So that rounds out my team at 100% capacity. I've taken a punt on Shannon Hearn. I've taken a punt on Oscar Allen, to be honest, uh, but I'm going to back in my team. And Trelaw over Merritt. Eh, it's a dicey one. Merritt averages a bit more, but Trelaw keeps burning me, which means he'll burn me one more time. But anyway, guys, that is my team. Let me know in the comments how your team's going, uh, what changes you made this week, and what uh, advice you have for me. As always, I appreciate the support on the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.